Oh, my husband will be right there in the clothes. Oh, look at the cheap prices. Mm -mm -mm. Holy cow. All right, y'all. Got to look. Got to look. These are interesting. Uh, I like the Chuck E. Cheese hat. Okay, one. Back to the dolls. O M G, y'all. Look. These are all vintage. Oh, look at their shoes. So many treasures already. Oh, and somebody done broke something. Straight for high rigs. Though, you got both of them. Oh, <laughs> man. Look. Oh, my God. I know. I know. Those are. I'm going to run out of space in my bag. At least you got one, you give me one, and I forgot. I know. I have found so many. Oops, sorry. Okay. Has it filed up here? Yeah. If you need anything, if you all need any help. I will have All right, thank you. Any big bedding because there's little bag. Um, Archie, go. Um, Emily, do you have any big bags? What do you do? If you don't do this. I'm, I hate my, I got my love-hate relationship. I know, I got to dig through that in a second. Washed and dried. See that baby, I think it's real. <laughs> oh, yikes. I gotta get that. I knocked everything over. I have 
one of the other ones. What are you? Oh. 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 I don't know. It's now adorable. OMG. Look. She's like 15. Oh my gosh, that is so neat. It's called the My Child Doll. That is so great. How does that? You need to get out of the bus. Hi again. My name is Rebel, and I'm the Rebel reseller. And, y'all, we went to a churchyard sale yesterday. We were in twice. line. Twice. But we were in line before it even opened. I carried in one Ikea bag. Big mistake. We ended up having to buy, go buy put everything in the truck, go back in, buy some more. Then we went and left, and then we came back. So After going to some yard sales. Right. And I recorded, and you guys are going to see some of the footage from the church sale. But partway through, the, the SD card corroded and just kind of turned off. I don't think it actually rusted. But you know what I mean. Oh, corrupted. That's the correct word. Corrupted. And I didn't get footage. But I got a lot of good footage. But here's my dilemma. You know, I'm not talking and telling people what I'm picking up. Some of it you're not even going to be able to see. Because, y'all, I was one of the first in. And I was trying to get the things that I wanted. And get through the things that I wanted to. Before others, before others came and got my treasures. So... I wasn't talking a whole lot. And to me, that's not as educational. So I'm still going to show you guys the stuff that I picked up. I, I, I got to interrupt your broadcast here with, with a, a, a point of concern. Hmm. We had, we have like a dozen bags left from our trip to the Goodwill bins <laughs> in December. And then we had some yard sale stuff that preempted that earlier in the year. And then the yard sale stuff, which we're still not through because it got preempted by the stuff that we found when we were in my vintage. No, Connecticut, my in Connecticut that got, no, in Rochester that was preempted by the Connecticut stuff, which has now been preempted by this yard sale, by this church sale stuff. I hope you don't start like preempting me just because you come across someone that's a little more exciting and <laughs> taller and flicks your interest Remember, and taller and taller can reach, at reach the, at the bins. Bins. So I'm starting to be concerned <laughs> that your your uh, attention span 
is not as long as it should be and I'm starting to bump the light and knock the light out. And turn my lights off. I'm starting to be, uh, yeah. Y'all, it's just, I don't know. We are finding so many treasures again. And I, I mean, I'm, I'm working my way through it very quickly, but I'm not keeping up. So, but yeah, I've got it all separated. I've got my Connecticut Rochester stuff there. I've got some new yard sale stuff that I picked up out in the building. I still have my St. Louis stuff out in the other side of the building. And then this. This is the new stuff. But what's most important is I'm still here. Yes. So and y'all, let's, let's just take a gander. Check a couple of my latest videos. This pile isn't moving anywhere. What have I been doing? That's not the point. Your pile, too, right here, it hasn't gone anywhere since stopped, before our trip. Have I stopped working at all <laughs> no. in the past several days? <laughs> no. It's just crazy busy. Crazy busy. Crazy busy with work and mowing and stuff around here that I just haven't gotten to it. Yeah, and I don't think I've even mentioned this yet, but this video is going to go out before it. I've been invited on to Suzanne wells podcast and that's going to be wednesday morning so i'll have i don't have any other information um but it's not live it's not live it's going to be a podcast it's and recorded then, and right. then she's going to publish it at some point point after that i just don't know when right so i'm going to be doing that wednesday morning with her and it eventually shows up on you it, she does it as, a, as an audio podcast and then in three months or so it shows up on youtube just the audio portion of it right so i've got so much going on right now and then we've got these yard cell these big yard cells coming up so we're just crazy busy crazy all right but also <laughs> can one of these days you never all have, you all have no clue how many i gotta give rebel credit she doesn't say um um but she says but so all right also and yes i'm um, one of these days at the end of these videos i'm gonna i'm gonna take all the ones that I actually snip out and i'm gonna move those to the end of the video and no. it's just gonna be like two minutes of and but and so all right okay no i mentioned in my watsell video that went out friday um that i got approved for whatnot i had to jump through some more hoops for them but i finally got approved courtney has been encouraging me to get this going you mean courtney or bolo buddies yes courtney and, and, bolo Cor buddies. and courtney from what we met up in connecticut too yeah, it's both of them yes two courtney's have very much said that it's something that i should consider so i said i wasn't going to but i'm going to um so i have my onboarding tuesday and then it'll be a couple of weeks um before i probably get the courage to do a live show i'm looking forward to trying out whatnot you know just to try and you know, do something different. Uh, you know, I don't like change. And this is a big change for me. Oh, boy, does she not like change. <laughs> I don't like change. So we yeah. argue on a regular basis. Not that, not that, but just getting her to change the way she does things sometimes is difficult. And I would say 99% of the time when I finally convince you to do it, that you're happy with it. Yes. Now there are things that I've tried to do that I'm like, yeah, this just isn't going to work out because no. like, like uploads, uploading templates to eBay for yeah. listings. It just, it's just it not going to work for the way we do. We, we, we attempt some things like that. To, drafts. To see, that drafts. doesn't work for us. It doesn't work for us. But you know, we, we try things. They don't always work, but man, getting her to switch something is, is tough. <laughs> what is it? Can't teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> Can't is teach that it? No, it's can't teach a cranky old dog new tricks. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, come on. Let's get this going. Let's get this going. First Am I thing, talking too much again? Yes. Look, I think, I think two of them need wash. But look, this one still has its original tag. I'm sure these are 24-inch Care Bears. The prices for the plush were marked $1, $2, $3, depending on size. This obviously was going to be a $3 plush. But for the most part... The first time I went through the line, and there was a lot, they were just counting $1, $1. The second time I went through the line, it was some $1 and some $2. So I just, I don't know. But $3 for this. 
they're comping for about 40 on eBay. Here's a second one. Same thing, but no tag. And then here's another one. So $3 each, but look. Just stuff like this. I think it's going to just be marker. Use alcohol on it. And then when you wash it, you, you shouldn't have any other issues. But yeah, alcohol is great for getting markers off plush. This is a Robert thing. It was $1. Now this is old technology. This is like the number one. But there still were comps for like $50 and $60. We do have the power cord. So even though we won't have software for it, um, we can at least test it and say that it was, you know, tested in that function. And then, so this is Robert. But not going to be fun to pack. And that will be on Robert. Yeah, one of the comps was 60 or $65. And it sold as powers on. Yeah. I think they're up to I, version three or th four right now, so this is older, but the new ones are like 250 so this would be a cheaper way for someone I to know, try I, it out. I didn't even say. It's like a uh, cameo silhouette. Cameo silhouette. It's kind of like the things like Cricut so, or Cry Cut, whichever way that's pronounced. <clears throat> I don't even... a lot of this was in that video I want to show this though yeah some things you want to talk about more but just your average here's $14.95 I wouldn't unless you, you got can take that extra one. stuff to say this was in that video but I never even got a chance look at that face I know you guys didn't get a close-up look and it's got a diaper on but it's something about grow up I swear it looks Eden to me I want to take this outfit off because that's not even a real diaper. Oh, here we go. Tonka. This is interesting. There's no name on here, but it's by Tonka. Oh, here. Love Me Tender. I don't know. I'm going to have Robert look that up. Look at that. Love that face. Definitely nothing I've ever seen before. Look at Tonka Love Me Tender. Love me true. Mm -hmm. Had to grab the coffee mugs. This one is Ray Dunn by Magenta. And then this one is Live What You Love Simply Southern. I just thought it was very interesting. They were a dollar each, so why not, right? Now, this I should also show, but I want to talk about it a little bit. This is. The Mother Goose, look, has the ca a cassette in it. There we go. Coco's Candy Shop. Okay, it is Wonder World series, so I'm pretty sure it's one of them that goes to her. The thing with her is, even if she's not working, you can sell these for parts. Um, a lot of times... People want it to replace missing or broken beaks mm -hmm. and the eyes. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping she works. The thing is pre-pack. Anytime you have something this large, pre-pack so that you don't get hit with um, dimensional weight. I mean, it's going to be dimensional weight, but at least you, your buyer is paying for the actual price. And you're She's not getting a, jacked up with an extra shipping fee that you weren't expecting. Yeah, there's some discoloration and yellowing. I will not try to clean her. I will leave all of that to the buyer. You had to pull the cassette out of this. And it reminded me, if y'all haven't been over and seen Grams and Pops Vintage, they've got a video. I'll try to remember to link it in the in the video in our video description. If I don't, remind me, but they had a crazy yard sale experience recently with some vintage or not vintage with with uh, some media so some media. i'll link it check it out definitely it was funny i think he's probably scarred for life so now this was in the video also but i have done very well with this a couple of times it is hasbro 1985 and the name is Real Baby. And it's very, very heavy. 
the limbs are it's very just very kind of lifelike and in a just I've done very well I, I'm thinking still like 25 30 dollars but we'll see because it's been a long time since I have found one of these just very clean condition I'll take the bob the diapers off I don't usually leave diapers on baby dolls now, I did grab two of these I haven't decided if I'll replace the one that's up there on my wall but they were two dollars each this is Mickey's ABC's and this is the mother goose one I think I like the mother goose one so it may go up there um, but they I did test them and they both did work so I love picking up these vintage toys they called C and says. You saw just a snippet of this. This is a tote that's just full of different types of doll clothes. Um, things like this, which are for larger dolls. But then I did see um, the hat and the boots. These are for the fur skins. I think they're the Wendy's version, the smaller ones. Look, this on the sleeve says, real baby. So this is going to go with that doll. Man, I'm glad I grabbed this. Hopefully there's other pieces to it that I can add to that doll. Um, just lots of different vintage doll clothes to we add to, 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 to that disaster right there. I wasn't going to say anything about that disaster, but we were, we hit some yard sales today. Today was not nearly as good for us no. as it was yesterday. Mm -mm. And it seems like our local group had the same thing. Oh, did they? Yeah, Ben over at Rocky Top Picker and Scott and Christina over at Trading Post Pickers and Donald over at Mars Bargain Basement. They said they were all kind of, had kind of a bust of days. Tim it and was Jerry, cold. Tim and Jerry over at TN Pickers apparently found lots of good stuff. Mm hmm And I've heard vintage toys, so vintage I'm going to want to see. Look. But, but uh, we, don't, 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 don't interrupt me. I have a long story. No, it's a short story. We hit a couple of our bust yard sales and then stopped at one that was a bust. But it was only a bust because the people were buying the American Girl doll and the I know. doll house full of toys. Somebody, as I'm getting there, has an American Girl doll in her arm. And then another person was buying another Fisher-Price Loving Family doll house full of Fisher-Price and Little Tykes. So, day late. Day late. Well, that's only half of it. It's a day late and a dollar short. I know, day late. This is strawberry shortcake. So this is a good one. I think her name's Lemon Meringue. Uh, just some interesting stuff. Definitely worth, I think she charged me $5 for the whole basket of doll clothes. All right, I'm going to cut this video here. Wait, but I'm making you cut yes, it here because Robert's it's getting Yes, Robert's making me cut. I really would just keep on keeping on with all the treasures from the church cell. But I'm going to do another video right after this, and I'm going to make sure he keeps them sequential. So they may be hopefully back-to-back -back days, but we'll see. We will see. try to get these out Tuesday and Wednesday this week. Probably. Tuesday. No guarantees. Yes, but that's the plan anyway. Let's get to work. Bye.